Hello everyone, thanks to the power of the internet, I get to talk with you. Now we just got more guard potential and divine set, I believe it's going to be in two with the new set order, which is right here. Now let me tell you, this thing is pretty bad. Now I'm going to say, I was actually excited for this, A, because it's a set order, meaning you only really need to play one or two of, just for consistency, because it basically gives you the Magnolia effect of where you're allowed to intercept from back row to the Guardian Circle. However, after you guard with it, it gets bound, which in Stokea, we really like recurring, like Zorga, anything from the drop is, you know, in order that we're, we're going to bind ourselves to Alchemagic, meaning this is not going to be played, and we like our pieces, same idea with, like, Leonorn, you don't want to guard with your back row, because you want your back row to, you know, boost, and then boost with your Vanguard. And those are really the only decks that are really seeing play, um, mainly because most decks outside of Magnolia don't have, like, a grade 2 or, like, anything worthwhile in the back row to guard with. Now, there can be some niche things, like, in Roa, you can call a plant token and guard with it. I'm pretty sure they have 5k shield. Um, but outside of that, there's not real use for this, because you want to be playing other things. Now, yes, there's this for consistency, <clears throat> which searches it out for Soul Blast, and it gets 5k shield if that's on. So, sure, yeah, it's a draw trigger uh, on a body. Uh, this is free to pe uh, play, however. Now, everyone's going to engulf because this is the strongest target, because Magnolia should, say, gives everything intercept and can go from back row, but it doesn't. Meaning this is a 15k shield that is just going to waste because you're using it for its soul blast on play to grab a card. Now, I do enjoy that we're getting more defensive value in the game, and I'm pretty sure other, you know, nations, if they get this same set order, could use it better. But we've already tried this song and dance with... Let me zoom out a bit. With Stokea before. We have Morph to search out a Blitz Order. The Blitz Order, of course, is Sweet Honey. Sweet Honey can also be searched by Burstinger. And it's a 25k as long as another version of Honey is in there. But this is kind of a six-card inclusion. And even though this would still cost the same amount of deck space, we don't have anything. Now... To show you this in Magnolia, I've made a new build. I've innovated long before this to fight Blagmire. Let me pull it up for you. Let me get... I've lied to you all. It's not really talking about, you know, the support. This is talking about, you know, Magnolia, what I'm best at, you know. And you can take my word for it, because I'm the Stokea guy, kind of. I know what I'm doing. And where I say I figured this out and told my friends Mythiarch is shit, Ghost Chased is based, this is why. So the ride line's been changed a little bit just for Roa, because you've just dropped so many just normal orders for this build. You don't really want to discard two, especially early game. If you get rushed, you just kind of lose. Grade four kind of goes off if you're going second or immediately once you get your grade four. Obviously, you're playing four inlet and four engulf. You're doing forbid doll to get a grade four and inlet basically, or inlet and engulf, who gets better every time I read him. For the main fact, this soul blast anything to choose a grade two or greater card. Now look, that goes to the set one blitz order ghost chase which is a gray two which is targetable unlike you know frozen resentment or mythiarch what does it do 
your Vanguard gets plus 5k, so it is shield value. But choose one rigor, not being attacked, return it to hand. Well, who are you going to choose? Well, Ingulf, of course, because you can then put it to, you know, the Guardian Circle where it gets that plus 15k. And with those together, you have made a front trigger. Now, if I was just telling you this, you know, that would be none. But what if I told you this deck, in theory, goes infinite? Let me tell you. It all revolves around Ingolf's ability to just get something. It can get you your grade 4 back if you soul blast it. It can get you back Ghost Chased, which is, you know, your infinite guard and going into grade 4 to call something back out. Pretty cool. What are you calling back out? Well, you're getting a thing of gold bat. Now, if you have two, you put one in soul, you call, you know, the one to back row, and then you get another one from drop, which gives you plus 10. Okay, okay. But how does that bring you back in golf? Well, it's this beautiful bastard, uh, Banatsby. Because unlike, you know, Eileen, who said grade two or less for 5k, this thing can choose grade threes or less. So you soul blast out inlet to call out inlet. Counter blast one gets you engulf. You soul blast out the bana the gold bat that you have in soul, <clears throat> and you can get your ghost chase back. You can get a, a banatsby that you've already discarded. You can get back your grade four. Honestly, the uh, options are limitless. So, hey, you, let's say you choose Ghost Chase. Well, you bring Ghost Chase back from hand. Uh, defensively, you play Ghost Chase. You put Ingolf back to hand. You guard with Ingolf. That puts them away. Hey, look. You've already set up your next turn for Banatsby. Banatsby goes. You get the recursion with Frozen Resentment. You get it with multiple Ingolf if you want. But just because... This shows Stokea at its finest and why the set order doesn't work because everything can revolve around grabbing from drop and if you bind this thing, you no longer get the ability to Banatsby call it. Yeah, you're playing four of, but you know that's one more copy you have in hand to guard with. That's one more copy to Soul Blast bring something out. Like, it's the whole reason why I no longer see the grade two as a weakness why because you can now engulf whenever to call that out counter blast put that back in soul right over for a grade four or it's a guaranteed grade four persona ride search because you can soul blast it for any of the soul blast costs like hey that's a soul blast he's a soul blast this is a soul blast if you start getting the picture over there this deck has a lot of potential, and I really think it can shine in, you know, the Divine Era. Of course, you know, I wanted to keep this tech secret because I wanted to, you know, go to, like, New York or someplace and hopefully cause a stir with this. But with everyone talking about the set order, I just had to bring attention to this deck list and kind of why, you know... This card right here, it just isn't worth it. Like, it might be free, but it's space. And if you saw the Magnolia deck list, everything is so small and congested already. It's a well-oiled clock, honestly. And a lot of other decks are going to suffer the same consequences, unless you're playing something like Shield Fisher. <laughs> I know it's... But if you really look at the rest of the ride lines of Stokea, I don't see any deck that would fe feasibly play this but i do appreciate you know its existence i think the effect of intercepting from back row should have just been any grade from magnolia but i guess if you want to throw it in the deck you can call back a trigger and guard guard with it you don't really reoccur those you just kind of use them once yeah so that's my thought on it you know, let me know what you think. If you made it this far of my rambling, uh, Danka, you know, thank you for making it this far. I know I'm kind of hard to listen to because I just, 
I'm very passionate about Stokea, if you couldn't have, uh, couldn't tell. Uh, but if you disagree with me, please, comment something, I'll, I will listen and read all of them. 